Hi my cupcakes, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome to my beautiful community. To become a member, I will be simple. You just need to hit the subscription button, turn on the notification bell, and I go by name Flore Madao. If you are a returning savvy, if you are one of the hundred savvies in Giavonga for your love and support, guys, we are finally on hundred subs. I am very excited. I am so excited. So if you haven't subscribed and you see this, and you're to subscribe, I believe Mr. Kelago to subscribe. When they in a right, come on, you just subscribe and turn on your notification bell. <laughs> So as you can tell from the title that today I decided to treat you guys with the story time. I decided to tell you my mommy's story. I hope you guys are gonna find it interesting. If not, in get Lisa, I'll make sure with the next time I tell a story that's interesting to you. So guys, I started drinking way before I decided to film this video. So in this video, I'm super drunk. I'm not super drunk, I'm just drunk and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes. So this video is not meant to be perfect, it won't be perfect. Um, it's just me separating my 100 subbies and the fact that it will be on YouTube, it's, it means I wanted you guys to see my other side that I think you guys don't know yet. Right, and Jinga Maja. So, yeah, guys, um, I'll be drinking in this video. So, this video won't be perfect. Let's get started. So, for those who fully, fully know me, will know that I'm from a very sweet family. I was raised by a very strict mom. My mom was so strict, guys. Still is, though, but I feel like good girl is more strict to me than my brother. So the minute I got my freedom, I used it to the core. I used it to the max. I overused it. I made sure. I, I made sure shame. So when I was in college, I used to stay in a commune. I was staying with two boys and the rest of us girls. And it was like a sweaty dominated place or a sweaty dominated house. We only had like two Zulus if I'm not mistaken, out of 10 girls. So they all, like, they kind of, like, adapted to our Swati, Savannah, Bob, Nadi. It was, like, the house to be. We were the girls we think we were. It was going down, and we were only, sorry, all in the same college. So, Yazin, it was a vibe. It was a party after party. Yay! So we used to say with this other guy, yeah. this guy, his name is Colin. Colin used to take care of us, like, guy used to take care of us, guys. He used to buy us alcohol every weekend. He used to buy us his scopo every Friday. Like, in our house, we was in our woods. Friday, it's a scopo day, scopo Friday. Um, he used to cook for us, like Sunday calls, and he dish up for everyone. He was from a very well-established family. I don't know, like, he's rich. Well-established family, other than, like, the rest of us. Tinavang and Jerusalem, I'm so cool. And, like, she, um, yes, he would take care of us. So, he was also from our college. He... Yeah, he was studying in Ghana, and he was a part-time DJ. So every time when he get gigs, I let I'm a client's wife. I'm a client's wife. Sorry, his clients. But I have my girls. Because my Yuma was entertaining. I'm a girls who are not into a sauna. I'm a girls who are a sauna. And yes, my girls are in contract to the world. But I'm calling those are my girls. So Colin decided to move out from our house. He decided to move to like a few houses away from our house. But he still like took care of us. Um, whenever he has like evad gigs and whatsoever, he would call us. He was our guy. He was our main guy. Okay, fine, cool. 
and this other time it was his birthday so we decided to would see um we're gonna surprise him with a birthday party just to honor him just to go to Simbonye, guys for the beautiful things he always do for us or he always did for us so we <laughs> contributed like all the girls contributed for the surprise birthday and guys you won't believe but i'm pretty sure we all contributed on the 50 rand we all contributed on the 50 rand because it was what we could afford by june and also like 50 rand was a lot of money by then and also not to forget some socorro but because of the fact that we had a vibe the vibe outshined our brokenness so the day came and yeah we were on point suckers or some of us we were those girls like i'm a girl you know like we have imani but with that contribution we did we managed to buy alcohol we managed to buy um scopo and we managed to buy his cake I don't know if I forgot anything, but yeah, we managed to buy those three and everything was nice. The thing about Avandu, other from like a well-established family, they appreciate even the small things. So he was okay, like we surprised him, um, obviously, and he was so happy, guys. Yo, he was so happy. Yes, in he didn't even care. Good team, champion, keke la kona le peta. Ucho la ba kona. It's not even top and whatever. But like he was so happy. So fine, cool. We parted. Thing about our house, we were staying in a very secured house. Um, by secure I mean like peskia market. Um, by secure, I mean, good to be some of the IP engineers, like, best driver, land, genius, key, and my gates. I'm on a punch of a bugle team. I'm on a practice bugle board. So we were kind of like, I'm a VIPs in our own party. Do you understand what I'm saying? Maybe? Sure. <laughs> I. So I am. Uh, a party nandi DJ way to call it you miss the party everything is going down everything is hip and happening guys it was going down how while we were minding our own business while we were so enjoying the party then we see blue lights so the minute we saw blue lights we ran away all the girls ran away we ran away to the nearest rooms we could get. Like, I'm going to go to the toilet, I'm going to go to the bathroom, I'm going to go to my room. So, unfortunately for us, we ran our way to our room. I used to share with this other girl, pal. So, we ran our way to our room, and our room had a lace and a curtain. So, unfortunately, we didn't close that curtain for that day because apart guys so that curtain was not closed it was open so but then they on or oh, they switched on their lights or a flash mother switch mother switch on a flash so isn't it like elise i don't know if you guys are aware are aware of elise elise mouse switch on light you could see inside the good screens are so that's what happened. Our lens was closed, but the minute they switched on their eyes, they could see what we were inside and what was happening. Like they could like literally see all of our moves. So they started shouting, Guti, um, you guys must go out. So we were basically instructed to go out. So we did as we were told. We went out and when we got outside, we were like, find a meal. <laughs> against the wall so yes yeah. so while they were searching us ne, i was standing in i'm sorry next to colin so colin you know guys you have no right to search us we're in the yard we are drinking our own alcohol and we look we even lock the gates and um, you guys have no rights to do that yay he's telling the 
police the law and um, he tells them Muguti, Yena, he has a lawyer and whatsoever like we have a pendula so my police are that they started like handcuffing him so I get a girl, Nina Jal, because Pella, I know how to talk like isn't it? Mina manje, I feel I call now I'm saying the police would no, you guys are wrong. You cannot be arresting him or he's just explaining the situation to you now. But then but and this other guy, the police guy said uh, he was also that one was black. Oh yeah, the police were like white and black, but it was like quite dominated. Yay, but hectic. So the black guy was like um, are you talking back to us? Do you want us to arrest you instead of him? No, no. So here you guys, I started so, checking. While I was busy talking back at those police and whatsoever, um, Ziggy on my side, <laughs> this other girl who was staying with, was like, hey, you're going to pay me my police. You don't talk back at the police. Just keep quiet. And I'm also trying to explain to her, and this police guy was like, so I'm like, no, but what if you keep on talking back at us? We go, we'll have to arrest you. You know, for no what is what I went instead of calling. So yeah, guys, that in that way I was like. I have to keep quiet. So I kept quiet that way. And they only arrested Colin and Tabitha's boyfriend by then, husband from mom. So yeah, <laughs> they only arrested those two. Then they took Colin in, they brought back U Success, which is Tabitha's husband by now, boyfriend by then. Mm. So yeah. And in the next morning, we went to check up on him. Then we found out at a, uh, a police station, it was full. So they had to take him to the prison for the weekend. <laughs> so we were hoping that we could get a bail. And we couldn't get a bail because apparently we're still talking back to the police. And that guys were so angry. Guys, I didn't mention the fact that those people left. Uh, <laughs> Baby, so it was like white dominated, and I'm a very corner. I can't even describe it how many they were. Like, Baba girls, easy models, estates. And to think, what time a police you can call them now, what if there's someone inside? But I just had a day and a half just to come here, but. For such a small thing, they came in. So apparently someone called them in, uh, called them, sorry. Someone called them and told them, Guti, there was a party, there's prostitutes, which is us. And there were drugs. So that's why they came. They were hoping that they could find prostitutes and drugs. So yeah, they kind of like wasted he since there's a state for such a small thing. Well, according to me, it was a small thing. So, yeah, he spent the weekend there. Then Monday, we had to go to court to support him for his bail hearing. So, Monday, we had to go for his hearing. We went to his hearing. It was like my first time in a court, in a courtroom. And if you know me, you'd know good in your Saba. I'm a police and your Saba is in this business. Giving when your Saba is spent along your Saba. I'm just a scared baby. So, yeah, um, we went to a court, a court for his bail hearing. And yeah, when we got there, guys, it was hectic. We got to see other offenders, and I was really scared when I saw them. There was this other guy, man. He used to like, he would stare on our direction, like, I'm not going to be a bonani, but he, he scared the hell out of me. And yeah, he got a bail in 500 rand. <laughs> he got a bail in 500 rand, and he went out. Thanks God. Immediately after he got arrested, we had to call his family. 
his mom, his dad, his brother who was in Jobek, who's a lawyer, because Tony was telling them, good, I have a lawyer. So we had to call them, they were old in, and that made me realize how much we disappoint our, like how we end up disappointing our parents. That day made me realize, Duguti, this freedom thing, it's not for the weak. That day made me realize, Duguti, I don't want anything to do with the freedom. That day made me realize, Duguti, I am more safe here when I'm at home than in the streets. That day made me realize, Duguti, I'm not ready to have my own freedom. I'm not ready to be independent. If things were going on my way, or oh, if things were going in my way, I would tell my mom, Good, I want to come back home. I want to attend a school on that side. I want to stay home. I, I want nothing to do with a freedom. Because there was this other advert, I threw away a dom. That's when I realized the good freedom comes with foolishness. The freedom comes with stupidity because you end up like doing stupid things all in the name of who say I have my own freedom but what about the things that you do guys I'm pretty sure I spent like two days not eating because I was so stressed like I questioned myself good girl is this the life that you really want to live yeah is this the freedom that you want for yourself Cause cut. If this is the freedom that I'm gonna get, cut. I need food. Yeah, that's how we surprised Colin. That's how Colin was arrested. That's how I realized the good thing. Every blessing comes with a responsibility. Every right comes with a responsibility. Um. Yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. If you didn't, I can see you there. I'm really sorry, child. I'll make sure that I do better next time. And remember, this is the celebratory. This is my celebratory for 100 subbies. If you haven't subscribed, you don't to subscribe. We still have a new vlog. I think I'm going to upload the vlog Monday or Tuesday. I upload it on Tuesday because I'm going home for the weekend. And Ekaya in network here super. If in the network, I'm gonna upload the the vlogs actually on Monday. And if in I'll upload it when I get back on Tuesday. Guys, thank you so much for the hundred subbies. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get to five hundred subbies. I as far call, we got to Tina since I can jack. What is this? You can follow me on my social media platforms. I am Lorraine too on Instagram and Lorraine Topsing on Facebook. And, um, I wish you guys a fabulous and a fantastic weekend. Productive and healthy week for next week. My name is Lorraine Topsing Madao. Stay safe, stay blessed, and thank you for watching. We hit the subscription button. Hard with service. See you on my next video. I love you guys. Thank you.